parents with grown children who no longer speak to you, what do you think led to the estrangement? Sometimes children outgrow their parents whose development is halted. My father recently died with two-fifths of his kids talking to him. Both of those two had considered cutting contact. I had a few emails exchanges with him before he died to discuss why he had never met my daughter. He made excuses for what he could and denied the rest. He couldn't live with his actions, I think. Anyway, he told everyone that all his kids were just mentally ill, and it wasn't his fault. I think he honestly believed it. Then he ended up stealing five-sixths of the money my mom had left to us kids with him as trustee and gave it to his second wife. Guy was a fucking prince. My mom and I stopped talking for a 14-year stretch. When my son was very little, we were on vacation with my mother. My wife and I had a small disagreement about his breakfast and afterwards, my mother pulled me aside and said I should take my son with me to a hotel for a few days to teach my wife a lesson. I disagreed, telling her that I didn't feel that I should be taking marital advice from a woman who had been divorced three times. She didn't take it as well as you might think. S. We finally started taking again when my grandmother passed away and have been fine ever since. Sad daughter here scanning to see if by some miracle her parents show up in the comments. Aid it since this post has gotten so much attention. I actually feel this more about my dad's sister than my mom. But I thought you all may enjoy one of my favorite quotes from a movie about what it's like to have a tricky family or a family that feels unpleasable. This is from I, Tonya. Mother, I made you a champion knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. Tanya cursed me. My daughter and I were estranged for 18 months. It was also all my fault. I had crossed a boundary and God bless her. She called me on it and told me to go fuck myself. I was incensed how dare she. Well, she dare because she was right. And I had to go introspective and work on me. She reached out 18 months later and we have been in touch now and have a solid relationship. It is a communicative relationship. Understanding and just being compassionate to each other. Sending love to my fellow survivors who were raised in a JW home and are scanning the comments. You're not alone. My mother literally couldn't tell you. I don't mean she doesn't know I've told her, but she's clinically delusional and actual narcissist. Straight up rewriting memories as they happen to the point she thinks we're plotting against her when we agree, and she doesn't. She claims my partner is why. She told my family I was on drugs. Ironic, since she's on just about everything and can't see our youngest brother without supervision anymore. I don't know what she did for that, but due to my own childhood, I can guess, and it's not good. My father would go long stretches not talking to me, then would ask why I'm not talking to him. My daughter hasn't spoken to much in the last two years. She'll come to family, her grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, but only replies to anything I say with one or two word answers. I wish I could say I don't know why, but I do. Her mom said she feels I put her second after her mom and divorced. I keep trying to rebuild that bridge. Hopefully in time. The takeaway is this. It doesn't matter how you perceive things. It's how your child does. Don't ever let them doubt how you feel about them. I am one of those moms who always felt that providing for my kids, taking them on vacations, buying them what they needed was enough, didn't realize love and nurturing were essential ingredients. Now my daughter is 28 and cannot hold a job emotionally insecure, depressed, and blaming me for her failures. She made me realize in therapy helped that how my actions, behavior might make a child feel they are not valued or loved. I am remorseful and regretting all my actions but unfortunately cannot undo the damage caused. Reading these comments is making me so sad. My mom loves the non-apologies. I'm sorry you're upset. I'm sorry if I hurt you. 
I think we all need to learn to forgive. Who knows what she says to my dad? Who knows how to apologize? But when the cards are down, is never actually apologetic. It's exhausting. I was gonna say a whole bunch of personal stuff, but we'll cut it at don't lie to your children, then perpetuate bullshit transparent lies while trying to reconnect. My mother and I didn't talk for a few years. When I went away to college, she said, if you get on that plane, don't bother coming back home. I fell in love while in college and got engaged and he abused me. I never told my mom because I didn't think she cared. It was my brother that came to another state to check on me. I finally did come back home, but things were never the same. I have no idea why I stopped talking to my parents. It wasn't an incident. It was a slow-moving snowball. But the main thing is how fucking unprepared I was for life. I'm in my 40s now and still trying to figure out basic things. Google is my parent at this point. I can't remember the last time I asked either of my parents for advice help. I accept responsibility for anything that led to the estrangement. I wish I had sought treatment for my untreated mental illness earlier. I love my children to pieces and miss them so badly it hurts. I hope one day they can forgive me. I believe communication issues play a significant role. Ongoing misunderstandings, inadequate communication, or poor conflict resolution abilities can gradually create a divide. Sorry up, you're almost going to get only the kids answering here. Fact is that the child-parent relationship is the most natural thing in the world, so if your kid cuts you off forever, you had to have fucked up pretty bad. And if you fucked up with your kid that badly, you probably don't have the ability to self-reflect enough to answer this question. I am was a terrible parent. I rarely spent any time with my children. I deserve my children not speaking with me. Two of my three don't talk to me. I stayed with their abusive father and they hate me for not protecting them by leaving. There's so much more to this, but that's what it all boils down to. It was of course unintentional and I thought I was doing the right thing. I took a lot from him to protect them, but if I could go back, I'd love myself enough to show them what a strong mother looks like and get us all out. That would have been the right way to protect them. Neglect.